going guys? Welcome back to Basketball Down Under. I'm here today for a bit of a strange video. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to cook some absolutely awesome, fantastic Australian delicacies. That's right, today I'm going to be Gordon Ramsay, but the Australian version. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to cook some Australian food. So today I'm going to be cooking two dishes and a beverage. I'm going to start off with an absolute classic, our main for today. Here we go. Now guys, just before we get into the video today, I would really appreciate if you guys smash the like button and smash the subscribe button. Go down below, hit that like button and smash that subscribe button. That's what we're going to be needing today guys. We've got the Vegemite, the butter, the bread, the toaster, the knife and the plate. So let's get right into it. First step, plug the toaster in. Now, this is the most important part of the whole dish. Getting the bread toasted, right? You need to have a good piece of bread. See this? It's got a hole in it. I can see you. No good. I'm going to find one without a hole. This bad boy looks perfect. Perfect piece of bread. I'm going to chuck it in the toaster. So this is where you're going to decide how you like your bread toasted. I like mine pretty toasted. So we're going to let that sit for a few minutes. This is how to kill time while waiting for your toast to toast. Toast! Toast! Like, I swear it goes faster when you do that. Who's ready to see some magic? You ready? Three, two, one. Oh. They call me God. Well, we can see here, it hasn't really done too much, so we're going to pop it back in the toaster. Now, secret tip, you don't get this from the main chefs. Flip the bread, so it was originally this way, you flip it the other way. So we get an even toasting, we're going to put that back on. And hopefully it will actually toast this time. Now for some God knows what reason, my camera cut out and it missed it. But I got my bread perfectly toasted and I taught you a crucial step. Cut the bread in half, just like so, it was like so. I sliced it in half, bang bang bang. And you got two smaller pieces of bread. That's how you make a Vegemite sandwich with one piece of bread. Then you missed the next crucial step, which was spreading the Vegemite, which I did very nicely there. Nice even coating of Vegemite. It wasn't too thick, it wasn't too thin. It was designated to how you like your Vegemite. I like mine like that. Now the Vegemite's done and we're looking good. Next step is get the butter. Because I don't know if the camera got this, but Vegemite or butter, which one goes first? It's more question than chicken or the egg. I go Vegemite first and then the butter spreads better. So it's perfect. Let me get the butter. Nice Western star butter. It's been sitting outside the fridge. We get the butter and we're going to spread it over the Vegemite. Very nicely spreading here. And that's it. Perfectly done. Now, the most crucial and hardest step on this whole sandwich. Lining up the bread. So you've got the one side spread with butter and Vegemite, as you can see there. The other side is just a plain piece of toast. And we're going to crucially... Yeah. There we go. There's our Vegemite Sando done. Dusted. Very easy. Plate it up. Looking absolutely beautiful and delectable. I can't wait to dig into that. Oh, oh. Now for our next meal, we've got two very simple ingredients we're going to be needing. Well, three. One, hundreds and thousands. We're going to be making an Australian delicacy. You have to be privileged to go to kids' birthday parties up to the age of about 10 to get this delectable d delight. So you've got to get the hundreds and thousands and your butter. Then you're going to get your bread. You've got to find a nice piece of bread and just like the Vegemite sandwich, it can't be one with too many holes. But this one we're doing a bit different. Nice piece of bread there on the plate. No toasting for this. So we're going to be making fairy bread. Very, very nice meal. We're going to get our butter and we're going to start off with a nice simple spread, right? We're just going to spread this all over the butter, a light layer. A bit lighter than the Vegemite, so you don't stuff this up. Very thin layer of butter, just, you know. So we're going to get some magic is going to happen in a second, right? Alright, so our bread is very nice and buttered there. It's a very light layer, as you can see. You don't want to put a thick layer. Now, the fun part. You get your hundreds and thousands. You give them a little shake. Very nice. And this is where it gets fun, but it's also a little bit messy. We're going to sprinkle the hundreds and thousands onto the bread. Are we ready? This is a very hard move. Boom, 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 boom. And there we are, we're done. Our second meal is done. Look how beautiful that looks. 
the fairy bread, all nice and colourful. You can see the butter on the bottom, so it just sticks onto the hundreds and thousands and it looks absolutely delicious. Now, I don't know about you, but when I have a meal, I need a beverage. So we've got our cup here, and I'm going to be teaching you how to make the absolutely best beverage to go along with your fairy bread and your Vegemite Sando. Oh! Number one item of what we need. Beautiful milk, full cream, light milk, you do what you do. I got fresh, full cream milk, Australian made milk. Very nice. And then, the most iconic Australian Milo. We've got the Australian cricket team on this. We're gonna be making an absolutely beautiful Milo chockey milk. Now, when you're making a Milo, right, you can't just use a little spoon, right? You need an absolutely mammoth of a spoon. So, I have here this. This is not a spoon, this is a shovel. But this is the only way you can get your Milo in an efficient fashion into the cup. So we're going to open the Milo up with the tin, very nice. And you know, they say like one spoon, or one little spoon, which is like that much. But no, you've got to have one heaped spoon of Milo. Uh, I personally think that's still not enough, but we're not going to do it just yet. We're going to add a little bit more now. Very good. And then you're going to add your milk. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. And now this is looking like it's got enough Milo, but you're wrong. You've got to add more Milo. So we've got more Milo, a nice big heap big teaspoon. This is not a teaspoon, I don't know, this is a shovel. And you're going to dump that in as well. You've got to have Milo, oh, oh god, overflowing everywhere. Otherwise, oh my, otherwise it's not a, oh! It's not a good Milo drink if it's not overflowing everywhere. Bit of mess, never killed nobody, and we're done. I have made a big mess. Alright, now we're going to be doing a nice, beautiful taste test. Let's start off with the Vegemite Sando. Looks pretty good inside there, as you can see. We're going to have a bite of this. Mm. Perfect amount of Vegemite. Perfect amount of butter. The bread is perfectly toasted. For you ASMR fans, I think I'm going to get another bite in. This is just seriously amazing. Go ahead and make this yourself. We're gonna go with the palate cleanser, the Milo. See how nice and chocolate is, and you get that layer of Milo on the top. That is exactly what you're looking for. Mmm. Very good. I have another sip there. Mmm. See that at the top? When that gets all melted and stuff. Oh. Mmm. We're now gonna move on to our final meal. The fairy bread. It's a shame this is ending, but look at that. Amazingness. Oh, beautiful. We're gonna bite in here. Mmm. This brings back memories. Now, if you ask, what do the hundreds and thousands taste like? There's no taste to describe the hundreds and thousands. You just gotta try it. Have another bite of this because that was just too good. Mmm. Gone a third. Well, there you have it, guys. I taught you how to make some absolute delicacies. I'm surely gonna finish all this up after I clean this mess up, but. Vegemite Sando was an absolutely amazing. The fairy bread, that's some good tucker there. And the Milo, oh, I can't get enough of this. Mm. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video around. I know a lot of people need educating how to make proper Australian delicacies so that we don't get any more mistakes, all right? Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch us later.